You know, we've just come through the spring, and spring is typically the time we gather as a church and we go out and we serve our city. We weren't able to do that this year because of the pandemic. But I know from hearing from many of you that we're still doing it. You're doing it in your communities, you're doing it in your neighborhoods, and I thank you so much for the work you're doing and the way God is using you. You know, God is also using us, and one of those things that uh, you've been hearing a lot about our Living Edge Market, but one of the other ministries that we've been doing for over 10 years, uh, thanks to the collaboration of Pastor Lindsay, um, Dick Brower, who is our chair of our Servant Leaders Board, and, and Derek Brown, who owns Cedar Hill Automotive. We started a ministry called Car Care, and it's still going today, twice a year, where we uh, gather all the local mechanics together who volunteer their time, and car wash guys like me, and um, we, we, we turn over nine cars, and nine cars that belong to seniors in our community, or maybe to single parents who can't afford to get those expensive repairs done, or even the minor repairs done, that um, can cause the, the later expensive pairs. So um, we've been able to do that. But in the last few years, we've seen a real need for replacement cars. We've had some cars come in that are in pretty bad shape. Um, I recently was notified of, a, of a, an individual who needed a car due to a, a recent car accident that wasn't their fault. The vehicle was written off by ICBC. A minimal amount of money was going to be presented, not near enough to be able to provide the transportation this person needed that was reliable. Well, it just so happens that Parklands has a um, donor car program. And through that donor car program, the school takes in a car. They do whatever repairs they need through the students. And uh, so there's no cost for labor. And all they have to do is pay for the parts. Um, and so um, this car, uh, this last car was uh, actually given to the school. It was a 1995 uh, Ford Taurus. Uh, and um, it didn't really have a lot of problems with it. It had brand new brakes already on it. It had brand new tires on it. It needed a new battery and just a good going through. And well, Dick and his team of kids at the school were able to get that done. Um, for the minimal cost of a new battery for $154, we were able to turn over keys to a car to somebody who really needed a car. Someone who couldn't get to work without a car. Someone who couldn't function day to day. Couldn't even get to church. Couldn't volunteer in all the things that we do. So I just want to say thank you so much to Dick to the students at Parklands, and to Derek Brown. And for all those who've worked in this ministry over the years, you are making a difference in the lives of people that really need it. And so um, we're really pleased today to be able to part, be part of this, to be able to hand over these keys. You know, I get the joy of experiencing this all the time, but, you know, there's really other people behind the scenes that are doing the work. And we just want to say thank you. And we want to just say thanks to God for this provision. He continues to amaze me. Every day, if we just give him an opportunity, make sure you give him an opportunity because he wants to bless you abundantly. Have a great day, everyone.